First, I'd like to know about your participation every year in IST and uh, exploring IST and Education Conference organized by IST Qatar and CNEQ. Uh, what, do, what do you like about these conferences and why do you care to participate every year? Well, firstly, Doha is one of my most favorite cities on the planet, so okay. <laughs> I never mind an excuse to come here. But I've been very fortunate to be on the invitation list, having presented my ideas. And uh, so this is the third time I've been. And every time it's, it's been a really good experience for me uh, to meet the local teachers and see what their attitudes are to ICT. Um, I'm one of those people that started off, in fact, most of my teaching career was just me and a piece of chalk. Uh, and so all these new developments are very exciting. Uh, I just wish I had my time all over again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about the sessions or the session you, you well, already gave in your Well, uh, we gave a three hour workshop yesterday and I've got another one today, another one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a good mix of people. Some were ICT specialists, some were mathematics specialists, which is what I was expecting, mm. uh, and others were physics teachers. Mm. And uh, uh, some, some were men, some were women from different places. There were two Turkish teachers there, for example, okay. <laughs> over here wow. teaching. Um, they all had their eyes open to the possibilities mm. of visualizing what is a very difficult subject to teach. Yeah. I think everybody agrees that mathematics is one of those subjects that you either get or you don't. Um, but now I think there's much more chance that those that don't get it will mm. see what's going on. So based on your experience with STEM, when, when ICD is integrated into mathematics uh, teaching, and does this change their views of mathematics as sometimes uh, viewed as a rigid or diff difficult subject to, to learn? Oh, without question, it, it, it can make a huge difference, mm. uh, particularly to the weaker ones who really struggle to visualize uh, what's actually being intended by the different concepts in mathematics. Mm. Um, yes, uh, I mean, over the years, experience has been developing from teachers as to how best to handle this because uh, we as teachers didn't learn it this way we learned it the hard way mm. and so all these beautiful images are, are wonderful to us they, they open new vistas mm. we have to be very careful that the students who have not had this grounding um, are not simply looking at whizzy images mm. and then they don't see what on earth they're all about mm. um, so the really nearly half my work now is training teachers to use these new approaches because mm. um, I think if you don't have that training uh, all the investment in the ha hardware and the software is, has gone to waste. Mm. Okay so my final question you mentioned that uh, you're going to give a lecture in or a session in, uh, in the Riyadh and it's going to be delivered in Arabic so how are you yes. going to do that? <laughs> well know about the that. software that I've been uh, helping to develop is called Autograph mm. and it's very popular uh, in, in the English speaking world and we've just spent the last few years localizing it in many languages. The challenge to localizing in Arabic was, was particularly difficult, of course, mm. because not only is it right to left, uh, you do your numerals left to right, because mm. you use the Hindi system. Yeah. Um, so we had a lot of help from teachers in Egypt and in Saudi Arabia to get this done. Uh, and so now, if you launch it in Arabic, it, uh, it runs in full Arabic, but there is also the alternative of running it with English notation left to right, mm. but Arabic menus because there's quite a push, I think, in many schools many, uh, in, in the Arabic-speaking world to deliver uh, maths and science in English, which is a huge challenge for the teachers, for it's not their first language. Mm -hmm. And so we've devised this system of, of giving all the help we can in Arabic, and all the menus and options are in Arabic, but the notation is in English. Mm -hmm. uh, from my point of view, when I'm doing Arabic tutorials, um, I do have to rather rely on knowing where the buttons are. My, my Arabic is not up to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to yeah. living it in fluent mm -hmm. Arabic. Um, but the, certainly the reaction from the Arabic teachers is very, very positive because uh, they feel quite daunted by the possibility of having to teach in English. Mm. Uh, but at least now they, they're getting a helping hand. This is the software autograph that we've localized in full Arabic. Unfortunately, this is the English um, leaflet about it. But you can see that it covers sort of statistics, simple geometry, and even complicated procedures of 3D volumes of revolution. It's really designed to help t students to, to visualize mathematics in a way that was quite impossible before with just a piece of chalk. It does rely on a large screen being visible to all the students in the classroom, and so an overhead projector is an absolute must. More and more schools and colleges are putting in interactive whiteboards, which are wonderful as well, because it gives the interactivity from the students. Thank you so much for your time and wish you all the best of luck. It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot. It's been Thanks. really